My dad has always farmed conventionally. There was, there was too much erosion. There was too much lack of soil structure. So I, I started looking for a better way. I actually found out about Soil Warrior uh, just searching strip till on the internet and looking for different machines. And it just really, the design really intrigued me, the idea, a uh, two pass system. The next step was I uh, uh, met Jim Erdahl, who was already using a Soil Warrior, picking his brain and uh, discovering why he went that way and what he liked about it, what he didn't like about it. And uh, it was, that information was invaluable in making my decision. He had a lot of good questions and questions that needed to be addressed to make a switch in the system. So we talked and, and, and then he came back uh, the next year and, and looked at the crops and, and he finally made the decision to, uh, to buy a Soil Warrior also. With the right GPS guidance, uh, which is essential, uh, it, really, it really is just as easy if not more than conventional farming. Not only that, but you're able to manage as a grower your, your fertilization a little more hands-on rather than hiring somebody to come out and spread. Um, you're able to tailor your program a little bit more to your liking rather than just whatever the co-op's doing for the next guy down the road. I would say the system, the acclimation from conventional or uh, minimum till to strip till has been easier than I thought. The system has worked very well. The, the machine itself is built very well, and we've, we've had very little problems with it. Extremely durable machine. Uh, as far as ground conditions go, extremely flexible in being able to operate the machine. Uh, just last year we had uh, uh, wet soils that weren't frozen, but the, the ambient air temperature was, was freezing. Uh, creating a very sticky situation where, where wet soil would stick and freeze to equipment and uh, uh, we were able to modify that machine, take a gauge wheel off and I was able to finish my work when I know a lot of uh, strip tillers that, I, that I, I speak with frequently uh, weren't able to continue running. Service has been top notch. Even on Sunday one of, one of the techs came down got me up and running uh, that very same day and again it was a fluky thing not anything to do with the design of the machine. My goal was to at least maintain yield levels uh, moving from minimum till to strip till and I think we've done that. I think we've um, increased our efficiency, fuel, um, labor, um, fertilizer. It's, it's a, a good working system. If anybody's considering moving to strip till away from conventional, if you feel that's the right way to go. If you've done your homework and you know about soil health, uh, efficiencies of fertilizers and banding, just go for it and do it.